Hi, hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crab Queen, and today I like to show you my latest project. And um, so it's going to be a mini album walkthrough. And um, Emma asked me uh, to do a design team project for her, and she gave me the opportunity to choose. And um, I choose for Stamperia um, Cosmos. And so if you like to do your own um, album, do you like to follow my tutorials and do you like to use the same pap papers I did, then uh, just go to the website www.emmascrap.fr um, and then she can provide you your Stamperia. So, Thank you, Emma, for um, sending me this Stamperia Cosmos. Uh, it's a great paper line. Absolutely. I can't say that enough. I just love the purple, the mint, the blue. I really love the, uh, all the animals in it. The images, it's just perfect. And I enjoyed every minute of it. And um, so, yeah. So this is Stamperia Cosmos and let's go to the album! Yay! <laughs> so let me show you my album from, uh, which I made with uh, Stamperia Cosmos. And before I'm going to show you, I used two and a half pack of, the, of this pack, 12 by 12. And they are 10 uh, pieces in one pack. And this is a 12 by 12 inch and I use two and a half so I have a half pack left so that's five sheets I have left and um, so yeah okay so that is just an information for you guys if you want to follow my tutorial and if you wanted to know um, how much paper I used okay so I used two and a half pack plus some extra but I will tell you doing the walkthrough. All right, so this is the front. And how big is this album? I'm going to show you. I believe it's, it's an eight by 10, I believe. Yeah, it's an eight by 10 and in centimeters that is a 21 by 25. And the spine is even a four, four inch pie spine and 11 centimeters so it's huge i know i can't help myself i love making albums and when i um getting into it um i just yeah i get going and going and going and going and i see that i forgot to turn on the light oh yeah this is much better <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'm just overwhelmed uh, how big this is, but I love it. Yes, I love it. So, okay, so this is the front, and um, I absolutely say it before, before I even started, when I saw this image, I thought that will be perfect uh, for the front cover. And um, it's the first time that I did not overlap um, the the corners of, of the spine so that's the first time I did this uh, especially for this image so much I loved this image um, yeah so this is the front and I used the papers from Wild Orchid Crafts and I will put all the links below too uh, for all the papers for all the flower the paper flowers I used absolutely gorgeous so let me lift this up and it's heavy heavy it's heavy it is, and I love it. I use some seam binding right here at the bottom, and then this nice white tall ones. I thought that looks amazing against this background, and then some flowers here. And yeah, perhaps you can say the flowers are not meant to be with this picture, but I couldn't help myself. I love that. And um, then the spine, yeah, the spine is something new that I did. And um, I totally love how this turns out. Um, so yeah, so what I did was actually I made two holes 
one at the front and one at the back. And then I'm just getting started with uh, the small one and then a bigger one and from here to all the way down. So it's, yeah, from small to big. Then I decided to add some um, beads on, some jewelry, some um, um, a key. And yeah, it's something different and I absolutely love it. <laughs> I can't say that enough. Why am I keep telling you the same words? I don't know. It's I just amazed how this turns out. So yeah, let me have a quick quick view from and the back. I used um, just um, plain papers. Um, well, if you can call this just plain papers, because I love the splatters and I love the, the moon structure and even the little lyrics on the back. It's just the papers are just amazing. All right, so let's go inside. How it looks inside is even better. All right, so let's open this up. And I'm just going to move this to the side. So this is how it turns out in one frame. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's overwhelming. It's 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 huge. And I did use the double hinge, um, and then it still gets not that perfectly flat. But for me, it works perfectly. So let's get into the first page, and that is the inside cover. And um, I just made a plain, big, deep pocket. Well, it's not too deep, but it's a deeper pocket than a flat pocket. <laughs> and inside here I already made, well, I have some leftover tags, uh, which I provided to put in this pocket. And I made some tags with some leftover pieces and a photo mat. Also, you know, I love making these and it's just a leftover piece. And this also, I used it all. Well, and then you can put this back in here. But you can put lots and lots of other things in here too. All right. Oh, before I, uh, because you you see sometimes in this album I used a printable because you know I for those who follow me longer than today uh, they know I like uh, cutting strips um, to give papers an extra touch and as much as I love the papers from Stamperia I thought the colors were pretty all the same a bit. Um, and I was searching some uh, paper uh, colors for the papers that that jumps a little up. So um, like this one, uh, the blue gives the paper a real nice contrast. And um, so that is why I search on my own computer for some printables because I have so much printables. <laughs> so uh, where I can choose from. So I uh, use that. Uh, but if you don't have that, you still can use the strips. Uh, you can still use your um, Stamperia papers if you like. If you don't like to cut strips, strips, then you don't. That's just how I like to work. All right, so let's put this back in and let's go to the first page. That's so excited. Okay, so let's get into the first page. Okay, page one. Page one has um, has a uh, page closure, and I put all the not all, but the most of these pages have a page closure. Um, that means they have. You will. Yeah, it's hard for me to under to 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 explain you. But anyway. Um, Someone told me about Ankita's Craft Corner and uh, told me she used some closures without using magnets and uh, perhaps it is something for you to watch or to use. And I did. And this is the first one, the first closure. So how this opens, so it's no magnet, you easily can slide this away from it and that's it. So it's really easy. Cool, isn't it? So this has this opens up 
and then you slide this in between here absolutely adorable it's so easy and so much fun so okay then this opens up to the top and i just placed a photo mat now i have to move this album pretty much a lot up and down so there's just a photo mat right there and underneath here too yeah you can see that a little that's just a photo mat nothing much to be seen <laughs> And uh, then we have a pocket where I provided already two nice tags from the sheet. I used a die, and I'm going to tell you which die that is. That is a die from Crealise, and that's this one. And that's this code if you do like to order it yourself so it's the CLOTE 39 and um, you can check it out on the website I will put the link below if you do like to check that out absolutely gorgeous then this oh we do have two pockets right here love these tags did I even put the same two oh okay my mistake that's because this collection do have um, especially when you use three packs then you get a lot of these beautiful tags and I did not cover these up because the bag is so beautiful of itself so I did not cover that up all right so that's the first page oh no it's not finished <laughs> this opens to the left and this one I just uh, put some decoration on and as you can see yeah, this centimeter is not from Cosmos, it's uh, what I printed out myself. Even this little strip right here. And then this is just a collage, a photomat collage with some leftover pieces. And then on the right side, two, just a photomat collage. And then on the inside, I made two pockets, which this is a booklet of card, tag, whatever you're going to call this. Uh, decorated with some of my printable used I, I used a few of these mint papers here and there not much but just here and there that gives it just a little extra color into it and, um, and this big tag right here never stop looking up and the back I keep it plain so we can put this back in here and then this closes back and then this is back and then we can slide this back on its place let's see if I can do this yep here we go see how easy is that so and then in each page there is a large booklet now I hope that I can pull it out let's see if I can do that it's a little stiff Oh yeah, I was pulling. No. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. And so, like I said, in each pocket there is a um, um, a booklet, and I used I used this uh, seam binding ribbon as um, so it's easier to pull out, but <laughs> it gets a little sticky here, so that is why it does not work that perfectly. <laughs> and then on the inside I did not do anything because the album is already pretty thick so I will let this uh, let the people who get this um, have their own clean way uh, of putting your photos in or you can write something down with white uh, with a white pen so I will leave that up to you what you're going to do with that and then this goes back in here just like that all right let's go to page two okay let's go to page two page two has um, a little decoration right here with some seam binding ribbon and the wild orchid crafts uh, flowers I use my own bling bling right here two hearts um, I use some strip right here and a um, yeah, how you call this? An envelope closure or a 
string closure i don't know but i like it so this closure opens up i use the same die so this is the leftover from the pocket i just called before from crealis then this opens up and on top i made just two photo mats with a ribbon closure and then this goes down and here below i hope you can see that it's just white a nice photo mat and then on this page here below there are two pages also so i also like uh, using leftover pieces then glue it just all on an a4 size paper um, and then when you uh, have not enough or anything then you can um, use it you don't have to do that that's, that's just me that i like to do that um, and then you can use it your leftover pieces so you see i use every piece of the but yeah and now i have five sheets of left so i sh i did not have to do it but i did because i love it so um and then this flips uh, up then we have here a photo mat too yeah it's hard to see but that's just a simple photo mat then we have here another page that's flippable and here we have also a photo mat then we go to the middle of this page and let's see this is just a, yeah this is actually a waterfall because i wanted to use these images absolutely stunning and i used some um, a clear sheet so i did not cover anything up of these nice uh, pictures these nice cards and this i kept it plain so you can write something down here if you like you can write something down on each on each back of these if you like even you can glue a picture on here if you like and then at the bottom we have the other four the other four images tags cards this goes all the way same as the other one and then inside here i made two simple photo mats and here so also so you see here is that mint color that comes back once in a while and let's see i do used a dye um, I think it's that one yeah that's this one i'm going to show you this is the c l o t e 40 and then it's this one so these are all set so this is set four and the other one was the other one was set three okay um yeah then this closes all down with this ribbon okay let's go to page three okay page three has also a nice page closure um, without using a magnet so we have here a pocket with a nice booklet and the inside is plain and the back i covered up with some leftover pieces and then we go um this yeah you i love using uh, photo mats once in a while um in each page that that is coming back um and then this opens up and uh, if we go first to the side i really love this one um i thought why not use some leftover strips and then glue it down in this way i hate saying that word in english because i can't pronounce it perfectly um but what i did was i only glued these strips these leftover pieces on the sides so actually you have you can use these as a, a tuck spot here or you can put this all the way here as a belly band and each strip is loose so you can use it whatever you want to use it same on here then on the inside there is a pocket and a booklet in here kept it plain this is also just a photo mat that you can stuck right in there if you like and then this flips up and on the top i just made um, a photo mat 
and then this goes back and then this flips down and here is just a little tuck spot with also the leftover pieces and like I said you don't have to do that if you have three packs but that's just me and then this also lift up and also a nice mint color photo mat or a place to wipe something down then this is also a pocket and on this side I just left a, a little uh, piece of paper on it so you can write something down here and you can bl glue down your photo here if you like this is also a photo mat to tuck in here if you like Then this flips up, same as the other one. This is just a tuck spot with a tag, and then this flips down with a photo mat down here, <laughs> and then this flips up with also a photo mat. So lots of places where you can put your photos in, and then this closes all down. Then in this, I think they are all a little sticky. Oh, here it is. Then we have a large booklet, inside is plain, and the back I made this with these papers. And this one is the blue seam binding. Okay, let's go to the next page. Okay, the next page is this one with the frog. And here again I used a page. Uh, without a magnet and um, used a nice tag with a frog and besides here you can write something down if you like or a nice picture then this moves up so no magnet is in here and then this opens up and this opens up and then we have a nice big waterfall and I used that method again that you keep your picture intact I absolutely love this image, same as the cover, um, and yeah, I absolutely love this method. I used this also in the Graphic 45 Kaleidoscope um, for the first time, and I, it's just a perfect way to, and especially when you have a nice image, you don't want to ruin this up. So that is, I thought, the best way to use it. So this is a waterfall, and the inside, I did not put anything on, because if the people who get this, Put their photo on that then it will be thick enough so i just kept these plain so i believe they are 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 even 11 11 waterfall and you can put two photos on here so that are 22 pictures already on this waterfall and down here there is a pocket is this a booklet yeah this is a booklet and as you can see, I did use a bit of printables, not much, but here and there. Oh yeah, and then we have this nice doy. That's this one. It's all from Cre also from Creolis, and this is the C L O T E one O three. Hope you can see it. Absolutely amazing, amazing doy, great quality. And then this all goes down and then on this side I made just a large pocket with um, a, a ladder in it. Well, just a piece of paper but you can write something down if you like. And I really like the twinkles. And I have to say and I tell, I tell you also in the tutorial, um, this is just a paper that I get sometimes when people send me uh, stuff, uh, some firms or, or some stores who send me uh, things. Well, not, yeah. When you order something, something uh, then they send it to you in a box and to fill the box a little full so the uh, materials are not going in, here and there in the box. Then they fill it up with this paper and I get it so much lately that I thought why throw this away because I love the crinkle of it. I'm stupid, I know. <laughs> love it all right and then this closes all up and then this moves back in here all right so <laughs> let's go to the next page oh totally crazy let's go to the next page uh, with a nice page with the owl owl 
And in here also I used the die and that's the same one as I did earlier. Um, I really love this one, this is so cool. So I use this die too and that's the CLOTE39. So I use that again, yeah, and that's that's perfectly because they are two. It's a set, so that's that's perfect. Great way. All right, so let's dig in this page. Um, all right, so a nice image here with owl with a tag and a seam binding ribbon and some uh, silver corner. Then in this, um, I made a pocket and it's a nice big booklet, printable paper. Inside is plain. And then this flips to the right, and uh, on this side, I just made a photo mat right here, simple with some strip right there. Then on this is also a pocket. I glued down some uh, of the little quotes from the paper line. This is also a nice booklet. Yeah, the purple as you see is not from the papers also. Then on the left, yeah, you see that in, in frame. There is a photo mat. Then we go further, then we have a pocket with two nice little tags. Oh, and we have a new die. Yep, that's this one. That is the CLOT 101. But I will put all the links below. That's that. Then I glue down just a round piece with a silver charm. And there is, and in that silver charm, there is um, the face of the owl. So cool. And this goes up, and there we have also a photo frame. That's that to move it around it just a bit then I just put some decoration paper on here and the bottom there's also a photo frame oh and yeah and of course I love this so I kept it in one piece I absolutely adore that pic that uh, papers all right and then this all goes back in here and this is magnetized and here is a magnet oh I use the magnet yeah cool <laughs> And then in here there is also a big tag uh, with nice, so nice papers inside plain and the back I used that moon paper. And then this slides back in here. Let's go to the next page. The next page um, also with this beautiful owl and um, again a nice closure. Um, and it's, it's supposed to be a closure without a magnet. But um, I have to say, I did try that without a magnet, but mm, this, this, this page is pretty thick and pretty heavy. And I was not very satisfied about it, so I used a magnet. But you can flip this up, and that is the beauty of it. So under here I covered up a magnet, but it's supposed to be not uh, a magnet. It's supposed to be that this is the closure, but I used, I just... I want to be I want to be it safe um, to close it all down so that is why I put an extra magnet on so you pull this up and then this opens up I just cover that with some leftover pieces and then this folds down and that's just a photo mat <laughs> and then let's go inside Absolutely gorgeous, I must say myself, yay, I absolutely love this. Yeah, actually each page is, is very special for me. Um, so yeah, we have a pocket and then this flips up and down. Also, I love this one, leftover pieces. Yeah, then this goes to the left, nice picture frame. Nice decoration, and then this goes to the right, and then we have a nice pull-out photo mat. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? Now, actually, this is exactly the same. I thought, why not do a double? So, a pocket, then this flips up and down, 
but this one goes to the right and this goes to the left and then we have on this side that photo mat with some seam binding ribbon so it's easier to pull it out isn't that cool I, yeah you know what i do i love it <laughs> and then this closes all down Ta -da! it's just magic i do believe in yourself and you can do it <laughs> let's do it let's go to the next page all right so this page has uh, again some uh, not again on the inside i was planning to do a lot of not a lot but a, a bit more than it actual that i than i actually did um, i also used some of the flowers from wild orchid crafts and um, there was a nice spot for it so i kept it uh, clean for some flowers um, so this is also a page without uh, using a magnet and this is just a nice big tag on the back some photo mats then this flips up and on the top page i just made a tuck spot where i left this mint color so you can write something down or you can put a photo in there too of tour of course whatever you're going to like like doing with it then this flips down and here below i made just can you see that yeah just a photo mat then we go to the inside inside we made i made three pockets and from small just made a simple booklet so perhaps you can write something in here you can write your own lyrics on here and then i made a booklet with yay these crinkly papers how would that be if you use this little thing this little booklet notebook for writing your mem memoirs in and then in a the large pocket i made just a tag or is it a booklet is the booklet oh it's a booklet of course lots of space to put something in here or write something down but that's not all no of course not this flips to the right and here we have a nice leftover photo mat um, page <laughs> that's not all nope this goes to the left the left side i covered up with nice design paper then we have an again a nice booklet trust the magic of new beginnings and again some photo mats and again some photo mats can you believe how much photos will be in here i did not count it shall i count it no i don't <laughs> i'm not going to count how many places there can be be photo mats in that will be just a surprise all right so let's go to the next page super excited okay the last page well the one one last page this i use magnets i wanted to keep this plain so there was nothing bumpy uh, going around in, in in between these two pages so this lifts up with the magnet so this closes nicely down so this flips up to the left and this goes to the right of course and then i used another die oh yeah this is the clot 38 if you want to check it out i hope the light is showing you that and then inside we have two tags which which i use some seam binding so it's easy to pull out stars can't shine without darkness put this back in here and then on here we have also a nice leftover piece photo mat tag and on the back too oh you can lift it like this or that absolutely love it love it and then i have a little surprise for you because that is not all new no. this 
lifts up like that and it's really hard to see but you actually have four see one two three four photo mats and i just thought it would be painful not painful it it would be playful to use some different colors of um, photo mats but that's not all this goes this way too yay <laughs> Okay, and I did this technique uh, earlier in my Christmas Magic Graphic 45 mini album, uh, also in the Masquerade one. So it's not a big surprise, but I just love doing that technique and I used it. Yay! <laughs> oh guys, I'm crazy. Yes, totally. And then this is closing all up with the magnets. Isn't that cool? And then the very, very last page is just a big pocket. And um, I used again some nice little tiny flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I used two tags on the bottom. I used some leftover pieces. And this pocket has actually a closure, but you still can see what's in here. So let's unlock this ribbon. So this flips up and I actually use a die again. Which one? Oh yeah, this one. This one I used. It's from the CLOT40, the set 4. Actually I used them all from one. One I did not use. But, so this lifts up. So you can open this up. And then in here you have loads of possibilities to put in some leftover tags and I made I always like using my leftover pieces uh, to make some nice tags if there is place and again ah, a leftover background page uh, leftover tag again a leftover tag and here I used the the pocket dies I used from Kaylee's the big one, the middle one, and the smallest one. So check that out. So this is the... Um, let me show you inside. Real close. The CLGP6... Oh, am I in frame? Yeah, here it is. 651 Pocket M. And there is um, an S, an M, and an L. But I will put the link below so you can check that out. And then I just created one tag with that because actually I totally forgot using this. Use these little pockets. I was forgetting that. But there was so much going on in this uh, album. So please forgive me. <laughs> Alright, so let, let us put, put this all back inside. Leftover cards. Absolutely stunning. Look at this. Wow, they are amazing. Amazing, amazing collection. I can't say that enough. And then, yeah, you can just make a bow so nothing will fall off this pocket. Like that. Okay, so... So I hope you liked it. So the, the pages are really nice, thick. They are. They are absolutely thick but I love them and um, did I pull out the last one or did I forgot it well in the last one there was also a uh, a booklet so yeah do you like this do you like my Stamperia Cosmos big album 8 by 10 inches what am I thinking Anyway, um, there is a tutorial for it and um, I'm going to try to do something different so perhaps it's easier um, to search for certain things. I am going to try, I can't promise you, but I'm going to try to make for each page one tutorial and for the cover one tutorial and um, 
So perhaps that's easier to find something. I, I noticed uh, some people lately having trouble that my uh, tutorials are pretty long and much, much parts. And, um, but that's because I show you almost everything. Almost everything I show you. Um, sometimes I put the camera off so I can mat on my own and put the nice music on the background. And sometimes I do film and I do chat a little and I do a little a lot of brabbling uh, about me or what's just going on at that day. Um, so yeah, my tutorials are just having fun and go along and um, they are not professional. I am not a professional. I'm just doing what I love to do and that's making albums. And I'm just show you how I did it and... Um, Perhaps that's not the way it's supposed to be, but hey, crafting is a hobby. And crafting is uh, a hobby that's supposed to be relaxing. So I do not measure a lot. Um, I do as less possible measuring. So I can't give you a measurement list or a material list because all the things that I use, I tell you during my tutorials. And um, so that is actually how I work and how I love to do my tutorials. There is a lot of work in it. Believe me, there is. And um, I have the time for doing that. And I'm blessed for that. And I also, also am very blessed that um, um, shop owners want to share me their uh, materials like... Um, Emma Scrap uh, does this with the uh, uh, Stamperia Cosmos and I'm so blessed. I am. But I think it was not possible for you guys. If it wasn't for you, that was not possible. So it, it, it is not possible uh, to do me so much stuff um, if there wasn't any owners who want to uh, sponsor me or send me new things or anything. And I'm so blessed. And I am blessed that I have you, that I have you, so for my English. And um, I'm doing the best I can and I love doing it and I hope that I can do this a very long time. And the reason why we do this is because we love doing it. And um, so we're just having fun. And that if there isn't any fun, then why is the reason to do this? So that is what I would like to tell you. We do this because we like to do it, because we're having fun, and because you want to show, you want to see it. Sometimes I don't understand that, but <laughs> sometimes I'm just babbling and uh, going along, and the, some tutorials are the worst ever. So please always check the 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 tutorial first if there is if there are any mistakes or anything, then please watch it first because I can't promise you that is perfect uh, the first shot <laughs> that isn't and I'm not um, preparing uh, pages well sometimes I do but that means that I need to make a page double so that is more time showing and that that's that's just not possible because this album takes me almost two full weeks and I mean really two full weeks from uh, crafting in the morning till late at night um, that's how slow I work I am not a fast crafter I do what I like and I take my time for it and like I say I'm blessed that I have that time I have a fabulous family uh, that is doing all the things they are doing on their own so um, yeah that's just what I like to say so again thank you for watching if you like to follow my tutorials and please follow my tutorial check out this website if you like the Stamperia Cosmos check it out because I bet it's going to be sell out so fast you blink with your eyes and it's gone already and I hope you can get it because it's the most beautiful papers I saw this year I think I think I am pretty honest to say that. Yeah, alright, so give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Sorry for my long brabbling. 
sometimes I do that. Well, a little bit much. <laughs> anyway, so thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Um, and I hope to see you back in the first part of this tutorial. Okay. Emma, thank you again, dear. You're the greatest. Bye bye. Oh, and before I forgot, thank you Annelies from Crealies for sending me all these nice dyes, which I uh, did quite a bit using it in this album. Uh, so thank you a lot, Annelies. Big thumbs up. And I want to thank Wild Orchid Crafts also for sending me these beautiful flowers. And uh, check them out. I will put all the links below this video. Each video, every tutorial, every link is below this video. But check out Emma's Cup. That's the reason why I made this album. Ah, okay, cool. Bye bye.